The long wait has ended after a half century. The Milwaukee Bucks are NBA champions once again. I wanted to do it here in the city. I wanted to do it with these guys. <laughs> did it. Oh, Giannis just tweeted this. What a night to remember it. Remember, enjoy it until the next one. Well, that's a big curiosity is when the next one. This was two years ago today that this man was holding that finals MVP trophy. What are the expectations? You got a new head coach. They're under the, they're on the clock yeah. with Giannis. What are the expectations for this First, season? I want to see if he does this, his extension, right? Mm -hmm. He's eligible to do that. Um, but we, you don't make a change in the, uh, from your head coach and, and not expect some pretty big change. That, that's a, that took a lot for them to do that, to fire Mike Budenholzer two years after they won a championship. And I, you know, I'm just, I was th looking back and thinking about that game when, when Giannis scored his 50 points. And the one stat that always jumps out at me on that stat is – he was 17 for 19 from the free throw line. 17 for 19. Of those 50 points, he was living at the line there. And that has been an Achilles heel for him throughout his career. But for him to do that in that finals game, show me, like he has that in his game, and it's still something for him to work on. It's still something he can improve upon. I think they won 58 games last year. Obviously, they did not end the season the way they wanted to. But they should still be favored in the Eastern Conference. And if he can shoot free throws like we know he is capable of, the, he can go anywhere. Yeah, and I think after that game, after that series, mm -hmm. after that championship, the conversation shifted because a lot of times people like me were very careful because we're like, okay, he's the most dominant player, but is he the best player? Yeah. And he emerged unquestionably as the best player in the NBA. Now, when you have that title, that status, Championships are all you care about because you want to capitalize on your prime. If I'm the best player and I have a team that all won championships with me, five other players or so, then you want to win and you want to win at the highest level and you want to deliver. And I think if you look at the Eastern Conference, I'm looking at them. Like, Boston, they're good, but they have yet to get over the hump. Philly, question marks. Cleveland. I mean, Miami, maybe you're a little worried about what happened last year and how Still Miami – some... Exactly, and how they always figure it out at the perfect time. But I don't think there are many teams, if any, that Milwaukee looks at and says, hey, I'm scared. Like, no, they feel like they can win a championship this year, especially when they have Giannis. So I feel like the time is now for them to continue to make the push. There will be adjustments with the new head coach. But that's what happens when you don't win when you know you can. Those changes happen. And so I still look at Milwaukee as the favorites right there with Boston. <laughs> now, Perk, my, go, my, my question for you, I want to I switch up the question. If you are Giannis, is this a, I want to sign my extension right now, and then I want to kind of put that to bed? Or is it that I just want to wait and see and just play everything out? Why wouldn't you want to sign right now? This organization, I feel like the Bucks and the front office and the ownership group have done everything and more to make sure that they put the pre pieces around Giannis, make sure that they protect Giannis. Look, they have a new arena. They're building up downtown like it's almost like the effect of what LeBron had on Cleveland. And we know when LeBron went back to Cleveland when he was in Miami, we knew how restaurants were open, the, you know, people were getting employed. This is the same effect that Giannis Antetokounmpo have on the city of Milwaukee. And I feel like he's in a great situation. You know that Brooke Lopez is going to be there next for another two years. Chris Middleton just signed his extension. Drew Holiday is still in his prime. Bobby Port is coming in off the bench giving you a double-double. You re-signed Jay Crowder. So the only concern that you have about the Milwaukee Bucks is are they going to be healthy at the right time? That's the only thing that de deferred them for is winning the championship or moving around and moving on in rounds was their health. But when they're healthy, absolutely, Giannis has the right pieces around them. They draft well. And if I'm Giannis, I would sign on the dotted line right now. What happened the year before they won that championship? That was the bubble year where they went out in very in, a, in poor fashion in the bubble. They come back. And then they have that great year in 2021. And so I think the, the, the exit last year sets the stage for a bounce back this year. But I do think that extension is important, Perk. I know he's under contract through 2025. But when you, send that, when you sign an extension, it shows a commitment to the franchise going forward. If you don't sign it, 
we all start asking ooh, questions. Ooh, all hell is going to break ooh. loose if this man does not <laughs> like, sign that what? extension. The NBA <laughs> will be put on notice. Maybe not since LeBron James was a free agent and every team was trying to figure out if they can sign. The Lakers have made a metric ton of moves this offseason. How much is a metric ton? I, I, don't, I don't. That's a is great a question. I I, 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 <laughs> no. Somehow I, I associate a metric every time, ton with Every time you put on a tie, every time you decide to wear a tie, you change. Yes. You come yes. on acting different. Yeah, hundred percent. That is my goal to act different. I want. I want my life to be different. Two thousand two hundred and four pounds. So thanks for that, today. But look, is the, is the is the biggest situation that they're dealing with right now that Anthony Davis is eligible for an extension here in a few weeks? Perk, I want to go to you, the resident big man. No pun intended. Should the Lakers be planning on making Davis the face of this franchise? I would actually wait it out, to be honest with you, if I'm the Los Ooh. Angeles Lakers. And, and as much as I, and as, and as much as I admire and love Anthony Davis' game, I think he's one of the most talented, skilled power force to ever touch the damn basketball. He haven't been available, and I don't know if you could continue to just trust in him. I think like this ought to be an addition for Anthony Davis to show that he's ready to really take on this organization and this franchise. Because every single season, we all have this conversation, is Anthony Davis ready to have take control of this team? And every single season, we continue to talk about LeBron James and how is he still doing this at the age of 68. <laughs> 68. Uh what, what are we talking? <laughs> of course you extend Anthony Davis. Like, I love you, Brick, but you got Like, you can't. They're facing the prospect of not having LeBron or Anthony Davis after next year. And I know they locked in some of the younger guys, which is good to build fo going forward. They're not just having this idea that they have no one under contract after next year. But Anthony Davis, no matter, he's still a top five player in the league when he is healthy. We see that whenever he is healthy. But you, if, it, if, if you need to do something else, if LeBron James ends up leaving to go play with Bron, someplace else you still have Anthony Davis on your team whether he's the the number one player in your team or number two that's still a superstar on your team you don't let him get the free agents you don't let him sweat it out I'm sorry I was just in the matrix because I was googling and I checked I know. and I saw I was right a thousand kilograms I was just like so impressed uh, uh, uh. so yeah whatever we're talking about yes I'm just happy <laughs> you're, you're just happy. You're I'm just happy. happy that you're, I looked. I was like, see, a, you like AD? You want him to stay? That's so what happy. Right. Okay, it. okay. Let me play devil's advocate if you oh, are the Lakers. <laughs> you don't know. Obviously, Anthony Davis was outstanding, like in yeah. the postseason, had an outstanding run. But yes, he hasn't been as healthy as he would like or as the Lakers would like. And so, if you're going to invest multiple years, and we know players as they get older, LeBron James was invincible for the first 15 years of his career. And the last couple of years, injuries are starting to pile up. You should be worried if you are the Lakers. But I want to give a little flashback to yesterday. Can we roll that sound? Can we roll the tape? So this is this is a tough question when they were when we were going through this question. It's like, look, they were like, well, what about Kobe? And it's like, look, Kobe was gonna do what Kobe does. He was gonna shoot the ball, and it was just you had to make it tough. If he made them all, he was gonna get you 81. If he missed a couple, he was gonna get you 25. So that to me wasn't the hardest person to guard. It was still LeBron James. All right, I would like to take a moment to address a particular group of fans. But first, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, God. Oh, yes. Because my mentions were on fire <laughs> yesterday. My mentions were on fire. And look, I am not here to attack the late, great Kobe Bryant. The man beat, swept us in the finals. But there was a group of fans. We're just going to call them Laker trolls, right? And so, look. Sometimes, like, you give little sound bites and they want to take it and go all crazy places. But let's do this. Let's give a little context. Should we give context? Can we roll? This is the definition of context. The parts of a discourse that surround a word or passage and can throw light on its meaning. So when I said that LeBron James was the hardest person for me to guard, look, look Kobe was going to do what Kobe did. But everyone was like, oh, Kobe, this, this, and that. 
let's go to the numbers. Should we go to the numbers, everyone? Kobe Bryant attempted the fourth most shots in NBA history behind Kareem, LeBron, and Karl Malone. But when it comes to shooting percentages, he doesn't rank nearly as high. Should we show where he ranks? Now, he shoots 44%. Now, that is great when you're talking about a volume shooter. 44% is elite. But out of the top 50 scorers of all time, his percentage is what, ladies and gentlemen? 40th. His percentage is 40th. So when I say Kobe going to do what he does, and look, he's right there sandwiched in between Antoine Jameson and, Carl, and Carmelo Anthony. So that is my biggest issue with this. Now, among non-centers, we take centers out of this. LeBron James would rank 7th in field goal percentage. Kobe Bryant ranks 29th in field goal percentage. So that is the thing. On top of LeBron James being fourth all-time in assists. So you have one of the most efficient guys and one of the great assist men. Kobe Bryant, one of the greatest scorers of all time. I am not sitting here trying to say that Kobe Bryant, I'm not even talking about who was better. I said for who to guard was the hardest, that was me. Okay, so all the people that want to say, well, based off of what I saw and based off of my experience, if you didn't play, I didn't, don't want to hear your opinion, okay? So I rest my case for the NBA summer vacation. I'm not on mine. Malika's on Why hers. Why are we not there? I don't know, but Jimmy Butler is living his best life in China, drops this shot, and then responds with a Dame time. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ramona, is it a matter of time? I think so. Oh. This is, is it August? Is it September? Oh. You know what? The NBA needs to set the TV schedule, so let's get this done. I know. I oh, yes. Okay. All right. Giannis Antetokounmpo playing ping pong with a national champion with a spatula perk. How's your ping pong game? <laughs> I don't have one, but shout out to Giannis for, you know, doing something outside of basketball. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.